Hey everyone, welcome back to the Baz AI channel. Let's dive into the world of data pipelines, a critical concept for any data engineer, analyst, or AI practitioner. If you're working with big data, machine learning, or business intelligence, understanding data pipelines is non-negotiable. We'll break down the five key stages of a data pipeline, collect, ingest, store, compute, and consume, and explore how data flows from sources to actionable insights. This is going to be a technical deep dive, so let's get started. Stage 1, Collect. The first stage of a data pipeline is collect, where you gather raw data from various sources. These sources can include data stores like relational databases, think MySQL or PostgreSQL, where structured data like customer records or transaction logs live. You also have data streams such as real-time event streams from IoT devices or clickstream data from web servers, often captured using protocols like MQTT or WebSockets. And don't forget applications. APIs from platforms like Salesforce or custom apps can feed data into your pipeline. For example, you might use a REST API to pull user activity data from a mobile app, serialized in JSON or XML, to kick off the pipeline. Stage 2, Ingest. Next up is Ingest, the stage where you bring the collected data into your pipeline for processing. This often involves an event queue to handle high-velocity data streams. Tools like Apache Kafka or RabbitMQ are popular here, acting as a message broker to buffer and distribute data. Kafka, for instance, uses a published subscribe model where producers, like your data sources, push messages to topics and consumers, like your pipeline, subscribe to those topics for processing. The event queue ensures data is ingested reliably, even during traffic spikes, by providing fault tolerance and scalability through partitioning and replication. Stage 3. Store. Once ingested, the data needs to be stored. Stage 3. This is where storage architectures like data lakes. Stage 4. Compute. Now we move to compute, the stage where the magic of processing happens. Compute can happen in two modes, batch processing and stream processing. Batch processing involves processing large volumes of data at scheduled intervals. Tools like Apache Spark or Hadoop MapReduce are ideal here, reading data from your data lake or warehouse, applying transformations. Stream processing, on the other hand, handles data in real time as it arrives. Tools like Apache Flink or Kafka streams process data on the fly, enabling low latency use cases like fraud detection. For instance, Flink might process a stream of credit card transactions from Kafka, applying a sliding window to detect anomalies within a five minute time frame. Both modes are crucial batch for historical analysis, stream for real time insights. Stage 5 Consume. Finally, we reach Consume the stage where processed data is delivered to downstream systems or end users. This is where the value of your pipeline shines. Machine learning services can consume data for training model. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.